Hello, 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 and all happy Saturday to all of my amazing Aries. This is Queen Amura coming to you with a very special reading on today. Aries, hopefully you're having a great weekend. I know you are because that is the intention you set. Listen, listen, intention is really, really the most underrated power in the universe, right? That's how you create the life that you want. That's why I open up my readings this way. I need you all to create the life that you really, really want. Speak those intentions into the universe, write them down. Like, what do you want your life to look like? What are you going to hold space for? What are you going to create Aries? Okay. Yes. Always remember that. Let's get into your reading. Okay. We got five planets that are currently retrograde. That does not include Chiron or true North. Um, Saturn is going station direct tomorrow. So it's Saturday the 9th. Um, Saturn is going station direct on the 10th. So we are technically still in new moon energy because we're not even at the first quarter yet. So this is going to be entitled new moon and waxing crescent moon. Okay. Also, we're going to get into, cause people have been asking me about the 13th sign, right? A fucus. People have been asking me about that. So you can go watch that video if you want to find a little bit more about a fucus. But I want to help you understand what that falls under. It falls under the um, um, sidereal astrology versus tropical astrology, which, which is Western astrology, right? Sidereal, <clears throat> excuse me, sidereal astrology is practiced by Egyptians, Persians, Vedics, and Mayans, right? Tropical astrology is practiced by people in the United States, you may have sprinkled the people who don't, and then Europeans, okay? So let's get right into it. So the, the tropical astrology is also called the moving zodiac, and it's based on the four seasons, right? Spring, summer, winter, fall. You know, I didn't say it in order, but you know what I'm saying. Like, right, 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 right. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's get into your reading. Most High God of the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Aries. Yes, amazing Aries. As, as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my strong leaders who also have amazing self-confidence, positive energy, brave, creative, honest, courageous, determined, confident, enthusiastic, optimistic, passionate rams. Yes, I am talking to all of you. Rams, I have a question for you. I'm going to toss out some dates and you ask yourself, do you choose to be an Aries or are you a Pisces? Yes. You're like, what? Yes. When we talk about that 13 signs, it throws those dates off, right? Yes. And remember I said that the tropical um, astrology, which is what a lot of people um, in, in uh, European countries in the United States actually follow that astrology, tropical astrology. Um, and then you have, like I said, you have um, Egyptians, Mayans, um, and, and other groups, some other, some other groups that follow the, um, the other one. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go. We have these oracle cards right here. I know you all can kind of see them off in the distance in case somebody wants a screenshot. This is what we'll be pulling at the end, okay? All right, shuffling and pulling at the end, right? So um, if your birthday falls between, if your birthday falls between, like I want you all to understand how this works, right? You ever notice that like when, when spring starts for Aries, when, well, not just for Aries, when spring starts, you can start, you know, like a, a day, um, it, can, it can start like March 20th, March 21st. Um, but if your birthday falls between March 21st through April 19th, you are in Aries under the tropical astrology, right? Under tropical astrology. But if your birthday falls between April 21st through May 12th, you are in Aries in the sidereal astrology, right? If your birthday falls between March 10th through April 12th, then you're Pisces under sidereal astrology, Okay. You can go online and check it out. But like I said, um, tropical astrology is called the moving zodiac. Yeah. And the sidereal um, um, is, is, it's based on the, um, 
current position of the constellation, right? I always try to simplify things. I really want to get into your reading and I want people to get really, really hung up on like, oh my God, I'm a true, true Aries or I can't believe I'm actually a Pisces or, you know, am I an Aries? I don't want you to get into this. This is an Aries reading. Okay. This is an Aries reading. If your birthday happens to fall by the Sidereal, um, um, uh, um, Sidereal calendar, um, in Pisces, then watch both Aries and Pisces video. See, that's how it works. All right, boom, here we go. Queen of Wands, yes. Because this applies, there's a lot of major shifts that are happening and I want you all to really get the message that I'm giving you here in these cards. So there's a shift that's happening and it's been happening for quite some time. A lot of people notice the shift. Some people don't notice the shift, right? So I don't want you to get hung up on, okay, well, this planet is Mercury. This Mercury is retrograde. Yes, it's retrograde. It's going to be retrograde for a while longer. Um, Uranus is retrograde or Uranus. Saturn is retrograde. Um, who else? What, what other planets? Neptune, Pluto are retrograde. Um, what did I, did I name everything? Okay. Okay, Pluto is okay, Pluto is now station direct. So Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter, Neptune, Mercury are retrograde right now. That does not include Chiron, it does include True North are also retrograde. Chiron is a minor planet. But anyway, here we have the um King of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. Got like a little bit more room here. And we have the Death Rebirth card, which is attached to Scorpio. Remember I said one of Scorpio's ruling planets is uh, Pluto, which is stationed direct right now. So you all have done some decluttering, right? What happens when you lose something where you feel like you lost a loved one or you lost a job or you lost a relationship or whatever, right? You go through a period of sadness. You go through a, fe or a period of grieving, whether that grieving looks like sadness, whether it looks like anger, whether it looks like you're happy one day, sad the next, whatever. So you're going through a range of emotions. Some of you all are going through a range of emotions. On top of that, Mercury being retrograde, the message is coming through to you may be garbled to some degree. You may not have total clarity right now, but that's okay. Mercury is not going to be retrograde forever. This is what you do need to understand. Where's the card? Okay, right here. I need you all to be expecting great, be in this mode, expecting greater, right? This came out in the last two readings. I want to say for Leo and Aquarius, I need you all to be expecting greater to happen. And I need, some of you all feel like something good is about to happen. You may not know whether it's good or bad, but you feel like something just like at the pit of your stomach just feels like something is about to happen, right? I need you all to make sure your frequencies are high. Raise your frequency, right? Raise your frequency. You're getting all these emotions and you don't really know what to do with it. I need you to be on fire and raise your frequency and say, you know what? I expect my business to take off. I expect my business to do well. This card right here represents somebody who's a visionary, someone who's an entrepreneur, someone who's a leader, right? So I expect to do well in the workplace. Like I'm not going to give any energy. Like before I was giving a lot of energy to people in the workplace and their messy attitudes and their moodiness and the whole nine yards. That's dead. I don't have any more energy. I'm no longer holding space for it anymore. You see what I'm saying, Aries? So now I'm creating space for this anticipation that something great is going to happen for my business. Something great is going to happen, you know, because you're a leader, you influence people, whether you realize it or not, Aries, you influence a lot of people. And so this is where you're going to get your joy, your magnetism, your fire back, like feeling very magnetic, very happy, very free. That's where you're getting it from because you are fully committed to tapping into that fire. And you remember you're the first sign in the Zodiac, which is great, right? You, you kick off everything. <laughs> Aries, come on now. You kick off everything. Matter of fact, if you are either an Aries or a Pisces, whichever one you choose, depending on the birth dates that I gave you, those the series of dates that I gave you, you could be the Alpha and the Omega. The end, Pisces, actually absorbs all energy, right? Absorbs. They're the most mature sign in terms of absorbing energy, right? This is about now I know what to do with this energy right? I know exactly what to ingest and digest, and I know what to throw away. I know what to throw away. I'm going to throw away the desire of um, expecting people to act like they were raised like I was. 
I'm trying, I try to help people when I tell you some people were just raised differently. They really were. And I don't, I don't mean that as a slight to anybody. Some people were just really raised differently. Y'all ever watch the soap operas when they're on the phone talking? They may answer the phone and say hello or maybe announce their name, but they hardly ever say goodbye. They just hang up the phone. You're like, what? <laughs> Nobody told them to, to say goodbye, like announce that you're about to hang the phone. You just hang the phone up, right? Some people were just raised differently. Some people, you speak to them, they may just give you a smile. They may not raise their hand. They may they may show their teeth. They may not do any of that. Some people, they be so caught up in whatever's going on in their life, they may not even see you speak. Does that mean you're going to go spin them around and say, hey, I just spoke to you. You better speak back. Absolutely not. You're not even holding space for that energy anymore. That's gone, right? You're no longer even holding space for doubting your own dreams, right? You're actually in expectancy mode. You're expecting some great things to happen. You're expecting that to happen, right? So this is where you're going to get into nurturing yourselves, right? This cup's energy speaks to the Cancer Pisces and Scorpio in you. Some of you all may have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio in you. I want people to get away from the bad experiences that they may have had with certain signs and start learning that part about yourselves, especially if you have it in your birth chart. Let's say you have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio in you, right? This is where you want to speak to that part of you, like open that door in your spirit and go in that room and, and get intimate with that part of yourselves, right? This is about nurturing. This is about balancing out your emotions. This is about tapping into your creative juices, right? Your creativity, which you all are by default a very creative sign. So you don't have time for that stuff that you used to pay attention to, uh, um, Aries. This is about nurturing yourselves, Right? This is about unapologetically taking time for yourselves, not even asking to, and I said this in another reading, you're going to create a standing appointment with yourselves every single day. Put it in your calendar. You got a cell phone. You don't just use it for calling. You got a calendar in there. You got all kinds of wonderful stuff in your cell phone. Create on your calendar a standing appointment with yourself where you're not answering the phone, you're not, you're not um, responding to anybody's emails, no nothing. This is all about you. Take 15 minutes unapologetically, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, however long. You need to take a day off. Do it unapologetically. I mean, if you work a job, you're going to put in a leave slip, right? You probably earned your leave, but just do it. Take it for you, Aries, right? This is how close you are to the other side of where you're trying to get to right? When you first started here on this side and you had to walk across all these challenging relationships or come across all these challenging relationships, your stomach was probably, probably had bubble guts. You were probably nervous, you know, just like scared the whole nine yards. But the more and more you walk this journey and the closer you get to where you're trying to get to, which is on the other side of where you're trying to get to, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all are on, like ante anticipating something great to happen. The closer and closer you get to this side, Aries, the more self-assured you are. Look at the person still coming up with ideas. They got a smile on their face. They're impeccably dressed. Some of you all are reading more books. Some of you all are even writing your book. You're like, you know what? I'm operating in faith now. I'm not wavering. Not at all, right? I don't feel wobbly walking through these relationships. I'm an expert at this now. Now I know I'm just, see this person is even on their tiptoes. This is how self-assured they are. They're not like, oh my God, you know, if I start my business, is it going to fail? No, you've had enough experience. Oh my God, if, if, if I start dating again, am I going to meet another sociopath or psychopath? Maybe you may meet another gaslighter, but you're going to, you're going to handle it differently this time, right? Aries, you're going to say, Hey, I got a blowtorch to my advantage. That's what I have to my advantage right? Right. Or if you have Pisces going, if you go by the, um, sidereal, um, astrology, if you're a Pisces, you can use that water to douse that flame out. Say, you know what? I was on fire for this person. I, I you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm going to extinguish that flame right away. Yep. I'm just going to cut my losses and walk away. I can already see this person is trying to gaslight me. I don't even have time. I'm not even creating space for it. Right. So yeah, been there, done that. This is what I'm seeing for you, right? So this is what you're stepping into. This is part of your transformation, right? The number 13, since we're talking about 13 signs, right? The number 13 is very, very powerful, not only because it reduces to four, and we can talk about that all day long, but 13 means that you experience many changes that are meant to transform and empower you throughout your life. 13 actually also means that 
it resonates to a genius quality. Like, don't you feel like a genius? Like you've been through so many things in your life. You're like, okay, I can do this in my sleep. I really, I, I feel like a genius at this. I feel like I have a PhD at this by now, right? So yes, it resonates to a genius quality. And it means you definitely have an out-of-the-box approach to life. It also means that you can attract sudden change, right? Remember, we're talking about Uranus or Uranus, which is retrograde right now. This is about intuition. This is about sudden change. It's about spontaneity. So things are constantly happening around you. Are you adapting? Are you adapting? Yes. The answer should be yes. You are adapting, right? And so those things are meant to keep you alert and to keep you aware, Yes, that's the number 13. So yes, I do see you all operating in uh, operating by faith, not by fear. That fear is dead and now you're operating by faith and you feel so much better. Some of you all are sleeping better. Some of you all are, you know, really, really just like, and I'm talking about, I'm not talking about going to bed at nine o'clock and tossing and turning until three, four o'clock in the morning and maybe getting half an hour of sleep. I'm talking about going to bed at nine or 10 o'clock and going to get your straight seven, eight, nine hours of sleep, waking up refreshed and renewed, feeling like you can run 10 miles, that kind of rest. Yes. That's how I'm seeing a lot of you all, you're heading in that direction. So don't be nervous throughout this period, this period, because you're closer than you think. You're much closer than you think. This is what I'm seeing for you, Aries. So yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Some of you all are still nervous. Look at this. Some of you all are still nervous, not, you know, not, not totally self-assured. Some of you all are still kind of feeling like, hmm, I don't really know because you've had so many snake situations in your life. And I'm not calling any people in particular snakes. If you want to label some people as snakes, you can. But what I'm saying is that some of you all have had so many challenging relationships, almost like I'm just exhausted. I know something is about to happen, but I'm just too tired to even, even give it any energy to even think about what it is, Right. I need you all to just keep pushing, keep moving forward. Okay, Aries, keep moving forward. I'm trying to encourage you, keep going forward. Like keep writing those pages in that book that you want to write until that book is done. No matter how, you know, no matter how um, unorganized it looks or like you said, I, I just don't feel like my thoughts are coming together. Well, just keep writing, just keep writing. You know, if you want to start a channel, you know, put that first video up, start saying it's going to attract people. And once that, that first person comments, Hey, comment, thank you so much for, you know, supporting my channel, like connect with your audience. You know, you, you want to uh, apply for a position at work. You know what? I may be nervous, but guess what? I'm just going to toss off features. So I know what I bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Like start see this person right here they're on the beach but they're still unsure of themselves this is because they have been in so many challenging relationships whether it be at work romantic um friendships family relationships or whatever they're just not certain if you, if you have a business keep using social media use those free like use instagram keep posting your business right like just keep doing it right you know, um, connect with people, like really, really connect with people. We, all these resources, we are all interconnected. I'm telling you, don't worry about if the family is not supporting you. If this person is talking against your business, listen, let that die. Let that die. All of that, the expectations, expect great things to happen in your life. And that's how you get it. Right? So yes, I see you all really taking the time to sit down and meditate unapologetically. You have big, deep hearts. This is where you're going to turn that into yourselves, like really start nurturing yourselves, loving yourselves deeper and harder, getting out of this spot right here of feeling like, man, I got the key. I, I know I'm close. I know I'm close. Don't get discouraged. Okay, Aries, this is what I'm saying. Do not get discouraged because you're so, so, so close. Some of y'all have this coming at you every single day. People who have issues that have nothing to do with you. Family members who could seem jealous, they could seem mean, they can be calling you, disrupting your day because they're antsy. They don't know what's good. They don't know how to control their own lives. So they want to call and disrupt your day. Give them two, three minutes of your time. If that, even if you, you may not even want to answer the phone because these kind of energies right here will try to flip the script and make it seem like you did something to them. Hey, no, you answer the phone. Hey, you may listen to them like five or 10 minutes. Wow, I'm sorry you're going through that or whatever. You know, I'll keep you in my prayers or I'll keep you in my thoughts or whatever, but I'm really busy. I need to get back to doing what I'm doing and then get back to doing what you're doing. Click, hang up, keep it moving forward. That's if you even want to address it, right? Because some of these, these people right here, all of these people have internal conflict that have nothing to do with you. But if you give them too much time, they're going to actually end up burning you. 
That's that person at work who never spoke to you. All of a sudden, you know, they found God. <laughs> they didn't even realize God was inside of them, but they all of a sudden they found God. A light turned on, light switch turned on. Hey, I'm going to speak to Aries today. They speak, just speak and turn back around and keep on doing your work. You don't have time to entertain any other conversation. Why? Because you're not even on that. You're not even on that frequency anymore. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm mad at you for what? We just we're just colleagues. I don't I don't sleep with you. You know, we're, I don't have to go home to you. I don't I can't claim you on my income taxes. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, you're not you're not holding space for it anymore. So this is what I'm seeing for you right here. Again, if you want to watch the Pisces reading, I'm not really sure ahead of time what what readings, what information is going to be downloaded into my spirit before I pull out the cards. But go watch it. But this is about you nurturing yourselves unapologetically. You see what I'm saying? Because everything is changing right now. And some people are just not open to changing. They are really set in their ways about doing things a certain way. And they really can disrupt your life if you give them, because you're a giver, remember? If you keep giving them, right? Feeling like, well, I don't want to seem like I'm a mean person. You know you're not a mean person. Just cut the conversation short, right? Keep on working hard and earning big bucks while you're doing it, right? You don't ever have to be in this position right here where you're so distracted by energy that's around you. Just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okay, let's pull these Oracle cards and see what we got. Remember, this is the deck. This is the Oracle deck that I'm using in case somebody wants to screenshot it. Boom, there you go. All right, let's go. Like I said, I see businesses taking off. I see it doing very, very well. And I'm telling you, with the waxing crescent moon, we're still in that sort of new moon phase because um, we haven't gotten to the first quarter moon yet. That's on Tuesday the 12th. I had to get the calendar right in my head. Yeah, I think it's Tuesday the 12th. If it's not, if Tuesday is not the 12th, you know, correct me, put a message below. Um, but it is on the 12th. Um, what was I going to say? The waxing crescent moon really encourages everybody to stay in faith and remain positive, right? Keep your vibrations high. Get rid of all the negative, low vibration energies from around. Don't even give it any attention. Like I said, people will try to bait you into trying to argue with, you know, trying to, you know, they may call it a healthy debate because their their spirit is just so out of sorts. They don't even know how to approach you, Aries. They really don't. They don't know how to approach you. They may call you, sound like they're just riled up about stuff. He's like, oh my God, here we go, right? You just keep your cool, calm. You don't even get into it with them. You do not lower your vibrations because you can go from zero to a thousand. We've talked about that, Aries. You don't even need to go there. You're too busy expecting great things to happen in your own life. Here we go. On every step of my journey, I proceed without preconceptions. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you want to screenshot that, what does the other side say? The mystery of life is your mystery to solve. Yours. You're the God of your universe. You solve your own mystery to life, right? Yeah. You have direct access to source that's, that resides within you. So again, you are so close. I'm telling you, Aries, do not give up. I'm telling you, please, I'm trying to encourage you. Do not give up on your dreams. Whatever it is you put out there in that universe and you're setting your intentions right now, you're planting those seeds. You got to, you got to, this is a faith walk, Aries, okay? This is a faith walk. Again, if you want to watch the Pisces video, please go watch the Pisces video. Please do not get caught up if you've either dated a Pisces or you work for a Pisces or work with a Pisces or you got a sibling for a Pisces and things didn't go well in that relationship. Pull your full birth chart. If you have Pisces in your chart, I will be speaking to your highest your highest vibration in Pisces. Go watch the video, okay? That is what I have for you, Aries. Have a fantastic day, but I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.